Hello, I'm Paul Puta and welcome to Paul Puta Prestige. Today I'd like to review the Patek Philippe Aquanaut. And the Aquanaut itself, it's a watch which is targeted for a much younger clientele of Patek Philippe. And the Aquanaut itself uses many fundamentals. In many ways the Aquanaut uses the Nautilus as its base and incorporates a beautiful steel case with a modern rubber, that's right, rubber strap. And the Aquanaut itself can be thought of as the quintessential sports watch. My good friend Descartes, who recently came back from a European vacation, reported that at Club 55, many of the young, eligible, wealthy bachelors were sporting a Patek Philippe Aquanaut. And the Aquanaut itself continues a classic of Patek Philippe modernizing pieces for the coming times without going to crazy proportions and the Aquanaut itself is certainly the favored piece of the super rich and excessively wealthy. The Aquanaut itself uses many Patek fundamentals. It's got a sturdy case. It uses an automatic 324 movement which is the same type of movement that Patek uses in the Nautilus and Calatrava lines. It's a range of watches which are, are available in steel and gold. And the Aquanaut itself brings forward the beautiful dial, which is really a type of dial with its, uh, with its different texture, which is very similar to the way the AP has a has a similar dial, the trapeze type dial. And uh, one thing I've got to say is that the Aquanaut itself, if you're after a steel sports watch and money is no object, it's probably the best piece to get. And I'm a huge fan of the Patek Philippe Aquanaut. I think it sets a standard of watch for a much different audience than traditional Pateks. It's kind of the same type of thing that happened when Mercedes released the 190E class of car. It brought the range available to people at a much younger audience. And fortunately, unlike the Mercedes, the Aquanaut is quite an expensive piece with similar pricing to Calatrava and Nautilus lines. But the Aquanaut itself is certainly a piece with a lot of staying power. And I'm a huge fan of the Aquanaut. Okay, let's have a look at a scoring for it. For the Aquanaut itself, the brand itself, I'm going to award the brand Patek Philippe a 10. For the starters of this watch in the range, I'm going to award it an 8. For the quality of the movement, I'm going to award it a 10. For the overall quality of this piece, I'm going to give it a 10. And for the Paul Pluto Prestige rating, this is a personal rating from myself, I'm going to give the piece a 10, which gives this wonderful piece a score of 48 points. I'm Paul Pluto from Paul Pluto Prestige. I hope you've enjoyed this review.